hello guys welcome to my channel i am samantha the introvert today i want to give you my personal review on episode 10 of for him i already did my reviews on episode 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 links are in the description below so without further ado let's get into it the episode started off with him with nail at the hospital dressing his elbow wounds because a motorist hit nail M worries for Neil because he thinks the motorist did it on purpose, which I think is true. Anyways, at school, him meets up with his friends. They ask why him showed up late when it was the day of their presentation. Him told them that the reason he was late is because he had to go to the hospital with Neil because Neil got into an accident. Hearing that news, Tekin left and him got suspicious of Tekin. Tekken called Type to ask if he was the one who ordered to her nail, and Type straight up admits it. Type said Tekken was the one who said Type must make him suffer, and the best way Type could do that is to hurt the one that him love. But Tekken said he never asked for that. Tekken said he only wanted to hurt him. Tekken, you literally made a deal with the devil. I love these sassy girls, they're a vibe. Anyways, outside Neil and Chow Chum talking and Chow Chum's asking Neil to ask him and his friends to join and help them with their project. But Neil read right through her and he knows the only person she wants to see is Dream. Anyways, Neil called and got him to come because him will do anything for Neil. Then we see Pai at his workplace and Chow is texting Pai. Even though Chow is getting simple one answers from Pi, he said he likes it because at least Pi is texting back. This guy noticed why and who got Pi in his feelings. Also, I feel like I've seen this guy somewhere and I feel like it's Venus in the sky. If I'm right, dang. Then Type shows up. Type, leave. We don't want you here. Anyways. Pi agreed to go to dinner with Type, but all he does is post and be on his phone. You can look at Pi's face and know the boy does not want to be here. Type left to go on a call, and on that call, Type talking bad about Pi and mentioning to that person how he's selling Pi to them, and basically talking nasty stuff. Chow, who heard all the conversation, punched Type, which was well deserved, then warns Type to leave Pi alone. Chow took Pi home and told Pi everything that he heard that Type did, but Chow noticed that Pi didn't look so shocked when he heard the news. Pi said, since Type left and came back and suddenly wants to be in a relationship with Pi, Pi instantly got suspicious, plus Pi said he was never going to go back to him in the relationship in the first place. Pi then asked Chow why he has not shown up recently and Chow explained that the day when he was to show up, he misunderstood that Pi and Type kissed. Now that we patch up our misunderstandings, it's makeup D time. Then, him comes with his friends to meet up with Nail and Chow Chum as planned. Then Dream, being a good friend, asking if he can invite Tekin, and Chow Chum said yes. Honestly, I don't want him to be there. When Dream called Tekin and told Tekin who else was there, Tekin declines the invitation. That's okay, we don't need you anyways. Then we see Tekin got a visit from this guy. I wonder who he is. Well, whoever he is, they act like a childhood friend. Why not go after this guy and leave Neil alone, Tekken? We then see everyone celebrating their success of their project. During their celebration, him noticed someone being suspicious and went to see and when he checked, it turns out to be Tekken. They started fighting and Neil saw. Him said that Tekken was the one who ordered someone to hurt Neil. Just then, Type came with his gangs and a pew pew. Type said the reason he is there is to end Chow. Type is upset with Chow beating him up, but Type, you deserve it. Him tried to stop the men from going to Chow and got shot. Tekken went home freaking out and his childhood friend saw and comfort Tekken. 
Then we see Type went home and trying to get all his stuff because homeboy is ready to run away. Okay guys, that is the end of my review on episode 10 of For Him. Stay tuned for my review on episode 11. And as always, if you like my reviews, give them a thumbs up, subscribe, hit notification bell so you never miss any of my reviews. And I will see you next time.